Hello, live version of Jason Love with Jason Loves Life. And today I was going to talk about my um, my hate and love for YouTube. So a couple of big things have happened in, I think it was in December? No, maybe it was it last November. We actually got our first strike, our YouTube strike. And that was for um, a video we did on how to do a, how to do a video mashup. And so... This is my issue with this. We did a trailer um, remix, right? So it's not my content. I get it. If they wanted to do that, I would be like, okay, I get it. They would do, you would think they would do a copyright strike on that, which is different than like a regular strike. Um, copyright strike, they just take it down. A strike is like you break their policies, which doesn't completely make sense because technically using copyright material is breaking the policy. But um, they didn't take that down. It was a Star Wars and Stranger Things mashup. I think it's technically not a mashup. I took the audio from took the audio from the Star Wars trailer. Uh, I forget which one it was. Um, I'll put a link up here. And then I took the I took the Netflix Stranger Things, edited up the actual movie, the show, the series. Um, so I used the whole series, but I used pieces of it, right? And so you would think. Stranger Things and Star Wars would like that because it's promoting their stuff. I'm sure they do, actually. Um, and that video is doing fine. I think it's even monetized, um, which is nice. So I did a video behind the scenes, which basically I just showed my process, how I did it. So the video I did uh, using copyright material is fine. The video I did behind the scenes of how I made that, I got in trouble. And this is why I think. I think they said, I got the impression because they're... Reasoning, though, they actually gave me the policy, I believe, um, but it was, like, very vague, where it was, like, it sounded like, you know, we can't teach how to do something illegal. So I think the illegal thing that I was teaching was I taught how I got the video from Netflix, and I taught how I got my video from from YouTube. And I think what gave me what, what caught their eye was that I put the link in the description to where um, a YouTube site to grab YouTube videos. Um... So it's interesting because you're allowed to make that content, but you're not allowed to teach people how to grab it because they could use it for the wrong purposes. Um, I feel like that's a little strange. That's and, and this is me guessing why they gave me the strike because that's my biggest issue with YouTube is they don't tell you why you get the strike. They just tell you you got a strike. Um, they gave the policy, at least in this case, it seemed like they gave the policy unless they just randomly put that there. And... Um, so, the that was one thing. And just recently, I got a, a, a demonetization for a video I did with Evelyn, literally just me and Evelyn sitting down and talking about her autism evaluation, which was coming up. It was literally the next day. So in the video, I just asked her how she's doing. I, th I don't even remember what we talked about, um, but I watched it, and there was no nothing bad. The only thing that was quasi, you know, I guess maybe you could get complaints about it if it was in the kids is that she picked her nose and like licked it or something gross right because uh, Evelyn was going through a phase where she would do that um pick her nose and then kind of like naturally do that and I think she was licking it just because she knew it got a reaction um and I said oh that's gross and that was the end of the video so that video got demonetized and okay you got an algorithm I understand even if the algorithm you know wouldn't let me monetize it, it's like all right I don't really care it wasn't really making me any money I uh, I you know, I appreciate YouTube. I love YouTube. Um, we get, you know, a little bit of money from doing it. Uh, but more importantly, we make connections with people. Um, I've gotten clients through my YouTube videos. And so that's not the issue. The issue is that they've told me that somebody, it's a manually reviewed your video. And there's no way, unless they don't, there's no way they had manually reviewed that. I would... I would literally gamble a hundred dollars. Um, so if the person, you know, there's no way YouTube is going to take me up on this, but if someone who manually reviewed it said, this is what it was, you know, I reviewed it and this is what it was. Um, yeah, I would, I mean, I'd say a thousand dollars, but I'm not, I, I'm to be honest with you, I, I'm not a gambling man. Uh, so that idea is not something I would do, but, um, I would be extremely surprised. Like, I would say there's a 99% chance that 
Maybe they had someone pretend to look at it. Maybe someone said they looked at it. Something because there's nothing in there that would demonetize unless they're demonetizing the idea of autism, which I know they've hit the, autism's a red flag for some things that I know people get demonetized for having autism in their description. It's unfortunate. It's because people are using it inappropriately. They use the word as a, as a negative. Um, I'm not sure what the term would be as a, um, to make fun of people, which is awful for, uh, you know, families like us. So that's my beef with, uh, with, with, uh, YouTube again. I don't mind that I got strike. I don't mind that I got demonetized that video. My issue is that they're very secretive um, and they're very dishonest about it. Um, again, if it's their algorithm, they're just like, hey, we don't have time. You know, this video doesn't get enough views for us to take the time to actually look at it. I totally get that. I would rather them say that than try to tell me that they had a human look at my video. And uh, I'll put the link to that video here. Um, I probably already posted it earlier, but, and at the end. So, love, hate YouTube. Still going to be there. Uh, love you guys. And as always, see you later.